What's up, y'all? Team FTS. I'm Aaron, giving y'all a budget slash Cinco version of E Dragons, which y'all have been asking about in my comments and questioning and wondering about. So I'm giving it to you because this is the version I used to play before, or I was gonna play before they announced the release of the babies. So yes, and also to my left, as y'all might see, let me open this up, Kelsey. Chris Davis, they are playing. So if you hear commentary of a game, you know why. So I'm just gonna run through it and give you all some reasonings and just make this quick. So anyway, I guess triple blaster because you have to play e e um, three of each. E dragon, it's discard effect, it's to destroy. Uh, Tempest, discard effect, search for a dragon. Redix, triple or it's discard effect is monster more. And title, discard effect, foolish burial. I just mentioned the discard effects because the, they have similar summoning and uh, banishing effects. So, yeah. Uh, double baby on those two. Uh, specifically on this because it's a uh, debris dragon target, which is really good. <clears throat> and then one and one. Because there's really no need for the eight babies because I will show you why, actually. But I'll get to it. Um, six babies is more than enough because you can actually play a deck with one baby each, which I've done. I've shown through testing, and playing and stuff, and a whole bunch of other decks kind of um, from like OCGs and shit. And they do they do that too. But I don't care. A lot of people are um, want to play two babies each. It's not mandatory because of what I'll explain. Uh, Red MD one of because it's a one of. All right, Card Trooper is important because it fuels the grave. Um, this deck has a. Uh, it uses this graveyard as a hand, as Kelsey would say. Anyway, so you fill that grave, uh, put the, hopefully mill your dandelion, stuff like that, give this little boost, attack, you know, get your normal summon off. And also, it's a debris target, so it's yeah. pretty good. Uh, when it's destroyed, it gets you that little plus, so it's good. Uh, dandelion, because you have to. It's um, discard with red eggs. It's very versatile. It gives you tokens, so Drago Cycle won't be destroyed. Maybe you can sync with those tokens. Um, it's just good as fuck, so. Yeah. Uh, double debris. This is your, I want to say, main tuner. Because uh, you normal summon it, you can special summon anything with um, 500 or less. The only, down, the only downside to this card is that it can't sync for a level 8. When the Celestial Dragon comes out, that's the 11, star, the 11, the level 11 synchro that takes like this and a E-Dragon. This deck's going to be fucking insane. But that hasn't come yet. And then Triple Veiler. This is, um, use it more for the tuner aspect than the veiling aspect. But it's versatile, so if you need it for the, for the veiling aspect, you can obviously use that. But you need them to get to the, those level 8s, so. Yeah, they changed it. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, so the spells. Uh, you bumped up the monster count, really, because of the card troopers, so you run less spells in this version, but it's fun. <clears throat> Triple Gold Arc, because you still want to plus off those E-Dragons get those um, babies to hand. So this is why you actually don't need to run the Triple Babies, because of this, and... Seven Sword. Um, I only run it as a one of because it gets cloggy as fuck, and that's why I, I really don't like this card because you only use it once per turn. So if you draw into another, you're basically fucked. Or if you open with two, then it's just depressing, and that seemed to happen a lot through testing. Um, so one's good, one works. I mean, you still get a little mini plus if you haven't used that e the specific e dragon's effect that turn. So it's good, and it searches for a baby. So you banish a blaster, get a burner to hand. Banish a title, get a stream to hand. Get it. So that's why you don't have to run the eight babies because it's kind of overkill. You don't run super rejuvenation. The only reason why I see that you should run the eight babies is if you run if you're like depending on the super rejuvenation play, which this deck is not because you're just gonna mill. So anyway, uh, the Trinity kind of important. Uh, people are kind of waning away from these cards and any various builds. Like a lot of trap heavy decks aren't being played because of e dragons, but not everybody can afford e dragons. So I still play it. Um, Dark Hole. I mean, a whole bunch of Mermels and a whole bunch of E Dragons, Prophecies. A whole bunch of decks don't play Dark Hole now. I mean, it's still a good card to have in case something goes wrong, so I still play it. Uh, Burial. Burial is a free summon, helps you um, put your resources back in the grave. That's why I play it. It's, it's a good ass card. It's very useful in different situations, it just depends on it. Uh, Foolish Burial is just my personal thing. It's Kind of sh this card kind of shows that you can put different texts into your deck or whatever. I put this in because at any point it can just fuel my grave. Let's say I need another dragon in my grave to special summon an uh, E-Dragon. So I just foolish burial one. Or maybe I want to synchro or do something with tuners or maybe normal summon a monster. I can send a dandelion early game or something. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's versatile and I just like it a lot. So I put it in this version and it works really well. Uh, my control is kind of a staple in any synchro based deck. Uh, take their monster, you can overlay or synchro the, synchro the monster, but usually you synchro. And also, you can take a face down monster to OTK. So, my control is really good. <clears throat> uh, triple breakthrough. 
because it's good. In the, you can use it in the grave, so that's why it's it's a really good trap to have in mill decks. <clears throat> and also, Ophion is a fucking thing. I hate Ophion with a passion. So, um, but anyway, three's good. Um, they're kind of expensive right now, so if you don't want to play these, then don't. Just play like different different stuff. But they kind of shot up because E Dragon's playing. But anyway, still a good ass card. And then Return of the Dimension is my OTK card. This is my favorite OTK card because all the stuff you banish, because you can banish like any card in this deck because they all use different attributes. So you can banish like a card trooper to special summon a Redix. If you didn't know that, then read the card again. I'm sorry. Um, but you can special summon all kinds of different cards from your whatever's banished. You can special summon. So you make a whole bunch of different plays with this one card just by paying half your life points, which is not a big thing because you're gonna OTK that turn. So it's a good card. Yeah. So that's the main deck. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments about it, let me know. Um, yeah, so extra deck. Make sure this shit's in order. It's kind of in order. All right. Uh, Zen mains, my stroke. Um, because you play the mind control and you play like the babies with the monster reborns and the breed dragons and all that stuff, and you keep low monsters on the field. I I think you should at least play one um, level three and a one or one rank three and one rank four monster in your extra deck. Um, these are all preference. I just keep Zen mains just to because it sit on some. So let's say I'm monster reborn like a Hornet or some shit, and I don't want them to have that for the next couple turns. I'll just leave it underneath my Zen mains. Um, same thing with my stroke; it just sticks around for a while, and keeps me in the game. Also, you can go my stroke and then Black Rose, and it still stays there for a little bit, so it's good. But it's all preference. Um, level seven or rank sevens, uh, Drago Sack, Big Guy, Guy Charger. This um, you only need like because you can still do the E Dragon play or whatever because you play babies and the Gold Sarks or whatever. But one is more than enough because you're not your main play isn't ditch ditch. Special banish banish special go drago sack pass or drago sack super juice pass. It's not a, a major play in this in this version of the deck. It's I'm gonna synchro or mill or do some other things. You have much more plays. This deck is way f more f way more fun to play than regular e dragons because regular e dragons are pretty routine and very uniform. This deck is all depends on what you mill and the situation of the game. So one and one is weight is very good and also you play my control and you play big eyes so you if you take something that you can cover this up you cover it up also this pierces like crazy so pierce the fuck out of that drago sack token your mirror match is playing you know what i'm saying but anyway so two z synchros uh armory arm it's just get the four you play a four i mean it's, it's very live because you play the veilers and the one stars and the mind control stuff like that so if you mind control like a face down lind you can normal summon a what's called veiler and then go for it uh five catastrophes just in case i can go five um catastrophe is pretty safe five to go into <clears throat> sevens I, you see i skipped six because i can uh sevens i'm missing one ancient fairy dragon we ended up trading one today in a trade for big guy so i'm sorry but that's a proxy right there um yeah i need to pick one of those up so anyway anyone from around jacksonville hit me up if you have an ancient fairy dragon they're pretty cheap but anyway um yeah these are debris has to sink for a dragon monster so this is not a dragon this affair so that's why the ancient fairy is important but these are you can use the black rose effect to blow up but also it's just something you kind of just have a monster to go into ancient sacred is for if you have valor and like two tokens on the field from drago sack you otk a lot with this card like ridiculously like oh my God, it was so epic today at the tournament but anyway so yeah, that's just preference this is all preference like the extra deck's pretty open to however you play in your play style but i'm gonna show y'all mine so crimson later red dragon archfiend blue uh oh blue eyes <laughs> stardust and scrap um red dragon archfiend is just just a preference thing because it's a little bit buffer normal normally you can just run like i don't know thought ruler or something like that it's just a big level eight and it's a dark so if you side in eradicator it's dark also it's the same thing with um Colossal Fighter, uh, like I said, Thought Ruler. Those are all big synchro targets that are dark. You can use Eradicator against full books. Um, Scrap is just a fucking amazing. Just an amazing-ass card. And then Stardust, if you can case your character Torrential or some kind of destruction. Or if you're playing Fire <laughs> Fist, this card's really good against Fire Fist because it's bare, obviously. And then Crimson Blader is nuts against E-Dragons and Murmurals. So, do that shit. Do that shit. Do it. Anyways. Um, so, it's all basically pre player preference. Also, um, no, that's about it. So basically when Celestial comes out, uh, Celestial Dragon, that's probably sometime, hopefully soon. It's the level 8, or the lo level 11. It's going to be fucking nuts. I don't know what the hell these niggas know. Anyway, so like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about the deck. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You mill, you sync with Debris. Debris searchable with Temptus. Do stuff. It's a fun deck, and it's cheap. So good luck to y'all, and go check out other videos. Bye.